Hi, I'm Apollonia. You may remember me from Purple Rain as leading lady to Prince, or from my band Apollonia 6. I've starred in films, TV shows, and I've been on the cover of magazines all over the world, including Playboy. I was also an LA Rams cheerleader. I'm going to take you with me. Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. Hi, I'm Apollonia, and welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. And to my right is my co-host, Mr. Seth. What's happening today, Mr. Seth? We have a very special, unbelievable guest with us. She is an actress. She is a Grammy winner. She has been voted one of people's most beautiful beautiful people in the world. She's probably been on every beautiful list that mm-hmm. you can oh, for name. Sure. And she is the one and only unbelievable Tia Career. Yay! Oh, hello. 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 Thank oh, my you, goodness. Tia. How's that for an intro? <laughs> that is so great. Thank you so much. I am so excited. Uh, I was on People's Most Beautiful List a very long time ago, though. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, you're but on it, though. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. You're still beautiful. We're still, we're still standing, right? Still standing, still Thank here, you, still working. That's still right. here. Thank you so yep. much for being here. Yeah, I'm of course. so excited. We ran into Tia uh, recently, and I saw her from a distance. And Tia and I know each other of uh, years ago. We met years ago because... We were married and our ex-husbands were friends. And that's how we met. So I go to an event to see Joe Coy. You and I are there. And I looked at a distance. I said, I I said, that's Tia. That's Tia. (laughs) And I said, that's Apollonia. Hi, Apollonia. (laughs) So I went over it, right? And we just hadn't seen each other in so long. It was so great to see you. It was so great to see you in the movie. Came up at the same time and we're still here. Yeah, we're still, still here. Still doing this. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Still in this business of show. Yep, yes. exactly. But <laughs> anyhow, we. I had so much fun researching you. Oh my gosh. I was just- Just ask questions. Throw the cards in the air. This is crazy. <laughs> so I have you, Tia Carrere. And of course, you know, your name- Althea, Ray, Duhino, <laughs> Hanairo. Oh, no. Watch out. They're going to go and, you know, identity theft now. Don't tell them how to spell it. I'm going to give them my wrong date of birth just to make sure they can't, like, exactly. create a passport with my name and <laughs> likeness. So great. So, born in Honolulu. Yep. Honolulu, Hawaii. Yep. So born and raised. Born and raised in Hawaii and uh, actress, singer, model. <laughs> Model was means to an end. It's this like, is you know, just, let's make some money in the quickest, most efficient, and legal way. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. you have to tell us about your name. Um, I was uh, born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Um, Filipino, Spanish, Chinese, mm-hmm. Hawaii, you know, it's like uh, everybody's all mixed up there. Right. So yeah. um, my uh, mother's grandparents came over on a ship to work in the plantations in Hawaii. Really? And, you know, it's like everybody mixes it up. Everybody's uh-huh. got, you know, a different gumbo. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, uh, you know, Quincy Jones would say, it's like, what's your gumbo, sweetheart? Right. Like, yeah. That's right. All mixed up, all these exotic ingredients. And, um, you know, that's why everybody in Hawaii looks all, you know, mm-hmm. Beautiful and blended mm-hmm. and different. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, yeah, nothing right. to fear. It makes us better. Yeah, hybrid vigor. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, how did the name Tia Career oh come to be? Well, um, when I was little, my sister, who's a year and a half younger than me, she couldn't say Atia, Atia, Atia. So Tia was uh-huh. my name uh-huh. since she could speak. Uh-huh. Um, so I guess probably when I was like three years old, she'd be like, oh, Tia, Tia. So that became my name. And mm-hmm. like when mm-hmm. I did my first movie, my name's so long, hard to spell, hard right. to remember. Mm-hmm. That's like uh, Jose Ferrer, Tia Carrere. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's sort of like what had a ring to it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Of course, one of the names I was trying to, you know, play with in my head was like <laughs> Tiara Chanel. So I could have been more bougie than I <laughs> I am. It could have been a terrible hot mess. Tiara Chanel, welcoming our actress, wannabe, singer wannabe, Tiara I Chanel. Too bad she ended up in porn. I hope there's no Tiara Chanel out there. Can you imagine that name on Oahu? Me. Tiara Chanel from Oahu. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So things happen as they will. Thank God I chose the Tia, Tia career instead. Yeah. So life in Hawaii. That's mm. what I'm curious. So you're in I'm Hawaii. You're a little girl out there. 
your family. Tell me about your life in Hawaii. What were your hobbies, your school, and all your aspirations as a little girl? Uh, well, I didn't grow up anywhere near the beach. It took me like mm -hmm. an hour by two buses to get to the beach. No. So yeah, it's uh, it's not like I grew up surfing or uh -huh. anything. I learned to surf from my first movie at 17. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it was beautiful. I mean, I was always at the base of the Ko'olau Mountains, mm -hmm. which I still dream about sometimes, just oh. flying like a bird through the Ko'olaus, which are beautiful volcanic oh, mountains, man. sheer cliffs, and I've hiked them now subsequently. But mm -hmm. I was always in the shadow of that mountain. I'm like, oh, I want to climb that mountain. I want right. to do amazing things. I don't know what it was in me. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I had to go to school uh, on two buses to mm -hmm. get to my all girls Catholic um, school for twelve Parochial. years. You went yeah. all girls. What was Sacred, that like? Sacred Hearts Academy. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't all take, but you know, I did my best. Um, <laughs> but I wore a uniform for you know twelve years and man, yeah. twelve years. I went parochial two different schools, but twelve years. Yep. What do you feel was a real? I mean, a real hindrance, let's say, for a woman being... Um, I found it to be a great benefit. I mean, mm. of course, yeah, you're, you're taking religion instead of taking, you know, like statistics or, right. you know, world economics. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're spending an entire, you know, year, you know, mm -hmm. eight semesters on religion. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's that. But uh, I found it a great equalizer because we all wore uniforms. Mm -hmm. Everyone was the same. Right. You didn't know if people like me were catching buses to Kalihi. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is where Dog the Bounty Hunter did his best right. work. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or yep. whether you were an heir to like the you know, Shiseido fortune. You know, nobody right. would know because everybody's the same. And you walk out and, mm -hmm. you know, one goes to get into their chauffeur driven car and one goes to the bus stop. You know, right. yeah. that's the only time you would know in class, you would never know. So mm -hmm. I like that. And mm -hmm. the fact that there were no boys, I think um, there have been studies done that girls are won't raise their hand if they're in the presence of boys. They sort of mm. defer to them. Maybe before, I mean, I think women are more empowered now, mm -hmm. but it would be a hindrance to girls speaking up, particularly in those uh, pubescent years. Wow, I see. I never knew that. Yeah, it fascinating. Makes, it makes girls more brave and daring to be mm -hmm. in all girls' schools, yeah. I think. Because you're competing with one another, right? Maybe? Yeah, I think because you're not as... I, they're ingrained in some girls is to defer to the male mm -hmm. yeah. is to right, yeah. bite your tongue, mm -hmm. let them speak first or whatever. You know, boys are naturally right. more aggressive. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is broad generalizations, but mm -hmm. um, there have True. been studies done that girls have not spoken up or uh, jumped in as aggressively mm -hmm. when there are males in the room in those formative middle school, right. high mm -hmm. school years. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah Parochial so I loved it. school. Yeah, I loved it. All girls, Catholic school, uniform. Mm -hmm. My daughter goes to one now. So oh, that's really? how much I believe in it. Okay. Oh, that's great, <laughs> yeah. okay. though. She's 17, and it's uh, knock on wood. I think it's been a really good thing for her. That's great. Yeah. That wow. is great. But. So I want to ask you, um, did you start modeling first? Was modeling kind of like mm -hmm. your first gig or was it acting or what was like your first gig where you got your first gig? Oh, well, show business. Show business. It would have been acting, mm -hmm. uh, uh, modeling, sorry, modeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I took my first singing lesson when I was 11. Okay. My grandma took me to my first singing lesson wow. and I entered all these diff different little, you know, high school talent contests. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Was singing your first love? It's my first love, okay. yeah. But I, it was never a job, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I was at the Kahala Mall singing for that oh, competition. That's I was so at the uh, Waikiki oh, Shell performing yeah, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. There was a, um, a talent contest in Hawaii called Brown Bags to Stardom, and so mm. all the high oh, schools wow. in Hawaii, um, you know, they chose their winners in their mm -hmm. little auditoriums across Hawaii, mm -hmm. and everybody went to compete at the Waikiki Shell, and that's mm. how. You know, I got up on stage and yeah. got that feeling of, yeah. you know, signing my mm -hmm. first autograph. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's I'll so cool. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. <laughs> Car named the script with all those swoops. Like mine is just like, <laughs> no, you know, I, was, I, was, I had to change my name. Oh, oh man. It. But yeah, so but then my first money paying job would have been a, a modeling shoot. Uh, and Japanese commercials in Hawaii. That's mm -hmm. the big, you know, jobs there. So you had an agent in Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I remember I did my first, I guess my first on camera, um, like video thing was uh, for Fanta Japan. Mm. How fun. Vitamin C. Wow. <laughs> I remember 
to today. It was even like 14, 15 years old. I was just, Vitamin C. You see her commercial mind? <laughs> cool baskurin. <laughs> see, we still... <laughs> We what still, was that one that you did? It was it was like products for the bath. It was cool bascurine. Cool, cool. bascurine. <laughs> bascurine. <Hi. laughs> <laughs> We've done it, right? Listen, if you're making you here, know, were you here doing modeling uh, for Japanese clients? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Yeah, then I did it out there too. I, where in I, Hawaii? No, in Japan. Oh, in Japan, I had a composite that said wow. I was doing five six. Did you? <laughs> I never, I never went to Japan. Oh um, man, yeah. I almost got fired and sent home. You send you back home, shrimpy. I was, you know, five two. No, no, no. But they like petite yeah. there. The petite, yep. you know. My girlfriend, who's more petite than mm-hmm. you, but she's you know a white girl with like blonde hair. I know they like huh. very fair skinned blonde girls because yeah. they're different. They're exotic, right? You know? Yeah. Exactly. So wow, I think I wow, look too wow. much like the girls that they already have. So, but, <laughs> eh, seen that one. So Let's get it somebody different, like you, Apollonia. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I remember hearing at, at one point a friend of mine in the record business. She goes, "You know, they're looking for the an Apollonia, the new Apollonia. It was for the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> The new and Nicole improved. Nicole Scherzinger, yes. yeah. Yes, and but they hired her. That's the, that's the you know, the um, the ages in a performer's life. Yep, that's right. Who's Apollonia? Get me Apollonia. Apollonia. That's right. Get me a younger Ap- Apollonia, Apollonia mm-hmm. and who's Apollonia? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, exactly. That's mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. the trajectory of our careers. Mm-hmm. You have to be okay all along the way. Yep. That's right. That's what we do, right? But you know what? The fact that they're looking for the new you. Let right. you know that you have you left such an yeah. indelible yeah. mark. You're iconic. That's right. And you are icon. icon. That's right. Oh, Said it here man. right now. So well, that's really yeah. sweet. No, it's thank true. you. <laughs> thank you. Now, tell me about your family and what difficulties did you face being in Hawaii? You know, trying to get into the industry there because I know it's just, you know. The little island, not little, but, you know, everybody yeah, says, oh, no. we're trapped in paradise because I live part time out there. Well, oh, you currently live. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're talking yeah. about uh, where? Which island? Oahu. Oahu. Yeah. See, the, I want to head back there. I yeah, you'd like back. it. I'm close to uh, Ala Moana. I always call do you the do Airbnb at your place. Oh, let's work on a deal well, you, here. Whenever you want, you come visit. Come hang. I got a, I got a guest up. room. I got a guest room. You go to the beach. You can and Airbnb your your guest room to me. Yeah, yeah. You and then you could take me to all of your haunts and places. We go get in trouble. Uh, you have to eat your Ooh. way around the island, though. Oh, I'm please. all about the food there. Mm. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, let's see. So, uh, what were you to ask me? I just like, I got, I got to get away. So there were two questions simultaneously. Tell me about your, your family, your brothers yes. and sisters and the difficulties that you had, you know, being, wanting to have these big dreams being on the island. I mean, what was difficult about hmm. all of that? Getting out of the island. I know sometimes people say you get trapped in paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, my family moved away when I was 14. So mm. I had a couple of years where it was just me and my grandma. Mm-hmm. And I think that sort of, it was very painful at the time, but it 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 kind of, it untethered me. So mm. when the opportunity came up, I was discovered in a grocery store in Waikiki, mm-hmm. got my first movie. It's like, okay, guess I'm moving to the mainland. And it wasn't so hard because I right. wasn't, wasn't, you know, it wasn't that you know, soft, mm-hmm. comfortable place. It yeah. was just like I've been, you know, right, somewhat on my own, and so it it made me a little more um, available to mm-hmm. just go when mm-hmm. I needed to go. So it's a double edged sword. But uh, yeah, I moved to uh, L.A. when I was seventeen wow, after doing my first movie, your Baby, which being one discovered that? in a grocery store called Aloha Summer. Aloha, Summer. yeah, Aloha. That was a cool <laughs> movie. It was just a tiny little cute micro movie. budget movie, but had some good actors mm-hmm. in it. Um, from you know uh, Don Michael Paul, he was he wrote um, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. He's I a remember director that. now. Yeah. yeah, I ended up being in that movie. Right, and um, Chris Makepeace, he did a movie called uh, My Bodyguard. That oh was yes, a, a that was adorable back that. then, just the year mm-hmm. before this movie happened. And Yuji Okamoto, who's now on Cobra Kai, um, which oh. we love. Yeah, so yeah, I love that show. Yeah, we but love so it. I mean, a lot of really great mm-hmm. working actors, and I know I'm going up on a bunch of Andy Bumatai. Do you know Andy Bumatai? No, he's got a podcast too. You should do it when you're back in Hawaii. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He played my brother in, or I played his sister because mm-hmm. <laughs> he's a big comic in Hawaii. Uh, uh yes. Yeah, Andy absolutely. Bumatai. So he played my brother in the movie. 
Wow. wow. Oh, fun. Yeah. Man. Wow. But yeah, so I moved to the mainland pretty right mm-hmm. after that. Pretty okay. quick. October of 84, I moved to LA. Wow. October. Mm-hmm. October 84. And then the, 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 uh, then Olympics. the Olympics. Yes, the Olympics, Olympics year. That's the right. Olympics year. Mm-hmm. I can't wait till next year. Olympics here, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Isn't it here? I think it is yeah. here next year. U.S. Yeah, should yeah, be make exciting. My hotel reservations down there now. You right about that? We That'd should be, be fun. telling them. I know. We gotta go book ours first. <laughs> Tell me, do you have brothers and sisters? Oh, the only child. I have two younger sisters. Okay, and then I have two half sisters. Okay, because when my family moved, um, my dad. <laughs> Fell in love with a Samoan woman, ah. my stepmom, and I have two other sisters that are half Samoan. Mm, yeah, wow. So. And they live on the island? Oh, boy. We're all over the place. Um, my sister, one, of the youngest one, she's in Guam. Mm-hmm. And wow. then the next youngest one, she's in Hawaii. She's okay. a doctor. And then uh, my third youngest is uh, Sandra. She lives in Arizona. My one that's a year and a half younger than me is in Arizona. So, And, that's, and then I'm here. Yeah. So that's wow. five. And you five girls, all his yeah. X's and Y's were all all screwed up. <laughs> wow! But you see each other often. You visit each other, and they come visit you. And yeah, well, my sister in Guam, she's super mm-hmm. far, so I haven't seen her in a few years. But wow. she used to live in Vegas. That was awesome. Uh-huh. Wow! Um, but my other sister, that's in um, in uh, Kona, mm-hmm. she's a doctor there. I, I saw her recently because I was just on Big Island. Um, right, one oh, month ago. the Big Island. Yeah. Oh. Man, yeah. Kona, love that. I want to go see the lava flow right now. Yes. I'm dying to see it. All, All the these news. pictures and videos. I'm yep. like, damn it, right after I left. All I know. Yeah. yeah. Man, <laughs> Hawaii. So, after, so, just in looking at your body of work, <laughs> it's almost like as soon as you got here, stuff started mm-hmm. rolling in, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but um, so, like get like I would. Oh, actually, the the general hospital was yeah. a really good um, affirmation that I was on the right path, yes. right? Because um, I was on there for about a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, You're like eighteen, nineteen. Let's see. Yeah, eighteen mm-hmm. to nineteen. I was wow. so young. You're a baby. Yeah. G-H. yeah, yeah. I was. I was a baby, and I was mm-hmm. like falling victim to all kinds of. Predatory behavior, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well. I had a boyfriend manager that you know, mm. you know, bad scene, and mm-hmm. then yeah. um, you know, fortunately, I had no plan B, so I didn't go back home. I just right. kept plodding forward and just kept waiting for the cream to rise, yeah. right, as it were. You know, yeah. just hard work and perseverance will get you yeah. there. Yeah. Living That's here in Hollywood, uh, yeah, LA, the Valley. Uh, I was here in like. Uh, West Hollywood, like Beachwood and Santa Monica Airway. Oh my gosh. See, we yeah. landed in WeHo. I, yeah. I moved to WeHo for, for selfish reasons because WeHo is primarily, as we know, kind of like the capital of LGBTQ. And I moved to WeHo because I felt that I would be safe as a single woman living there amongst wonderful men that were protecting me. If anything, you know, I developed a lot of friendships with, you know, gay men in West Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And they were like, girl, I'm going to steal those shoes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so that was the biggest fear. But well, we where I up- was wasn't exactly safe. I was like a little further east. Beachwood mm-hmm. and Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. You hear some gunshots back then. By the freeway. Oh, yeah. Going, yeah. going up towards like Western and yeah, that yeah. Way. Back, mm-hmm. I mean, in 1984. Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. You know, I yeah. mean. When I would go to Venice, my yeah. the photographer that I did my first photo test shoot in Los Angeles had a razor wire around his yard. Yep. I was like, Ooh. where am I? That's right. But yeah, yeah, in certain areas of WeHo, even though it, you know, it's dangerous, I just felt really safe. Yeah, you, know? you were in West Hollywood. I was yeah. in Hollywood, yeah. Yeah. which was a little, wow. a little off the beaten path. But we yeah, could, West we... Hollywood is a great area. I was always like within a three blocks for the next, you know, however mm-hmm. many, 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's see, where did I go? Uh, Crescent Heights. Mm, okay. Sweet yeah. Sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're in my yeah, hood. Sunset. That's Yeah, Fountain. I was on Kings right off of Sweet Sir. So we were like, probably and then saw I each other. I had a house on Queens. I had a house oh, on my. Queens for like 10 years. Yeah. So we probably saw each other like at, what was it, local market, 7 Eleven and everything. We didn't rock know each and other. Rock, rock, and rock, and rock, rock and Roll Ralphs. Rock and Roll Ralphs. Yeah, Rock and Roll Ralphs. Um, on, on Hollywood. What, uh, yep. Yep. What's rock the roll. other one? Um, the uh, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf for yes. Ben Franklin's up on yes. Sunset and Sunset Plaza. How about the Oki Dog? Oh, I never ate an Okie Dog. Like uh, Okie Dog Hamburger was... Hamlet. That was my hang. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, the on Hamburger Sunset. Hamlet. Yep. Yep. On yep. And Francis, mm-hmm. um, yep. Miles Davis' uh, wife, girlfriend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Francis, yes. she was the hostess there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, these great places in Hollywood. Yeah. Man. I went there for like 30 years, whatever, until they closed. I was yeah. like, no, yep. they closed. Yeah. Where am I going to go now? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 
I know. Memory lane. Yes. You guys have to Google this stuff at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably can't even find it anymore. Man. Wow. Lion share studio down on Beverly Boulevard. Yes. Kenny Rogers studio. That's back in right. The day. Yeah. 1945, I recorded there. Did you ever record there? No. They did um, mm-hmm. Hands Across America there. No, I didn't go there long, that, long that night. Ago. That night, Prince and I didn't go to the, uh, what was it? No, We Are the World. Yeah. yeah. We Are the World. Yeah. We stayed. He was at the uh, Westwood Marquee, and he says, I ain't going. I go, why? He goes, because somebody else wrote the song. Oh. <laughs> That's what he said. So well. I was like, whatever. So we're at, he's at the Westwood Marquee, and then so was Julian Lennon. Mm-hmm. So you know, we did that whole overnight thing, and then Julian says, I want to meet Prince. So I walked Julian into Prince's room. They both sat side by side of the piano, started playing, and I closed the door. And left him alone. Anyhow, I don't know where that came from, but magic. No, but I mean, these are life experiences. Yeah. Like if you don't, if you don't memorialize them, you forget them. Yeah, yeah. you know, just great memories. Of, I can't believe you know I was in a hotel room in London and you know hanging out with Bjork, and yeah. then we all get yeah. kicked out of a, of a hotel room because we're making too much noise. There yeah. you go. But it was good, clean fun. We we're just having fun. Memoirs. You know? Have you, you write done your memoirs? Your own? Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask See? her that. Have you ever done? I your don't memoirs? want my daughter to know what I've been doing. <laughs> Oh, come well, on. I have a 17 year old daughter. Maybe I'll wait till she's like a little older. Okay. No, go for it. Do it. Because it's just me, like I said, researching you. There was so much that I was just like, it was fascinating. I thought she should write her memoirs. So after General Hospital, you started doing a lot of TV or was yeah, it like more MacGyver, movies? Like MacGyver, yeah. Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. Oh, man. Wow. I wanted to be on Quantum Leap. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that was fun. I did a couple of quantum leaps. No, fun. yeah, a couple of them, and uh, a couple of MacGyvers and uh, married with children. Married with children. That was just before. Yeah. Uh, Wayne's World. I yeah. Did that, wow. Um, the Bundy Bounce. Yes, I oh remember. My God. I yeah. remember. You, you were. He, she was on Star Search. That was, yeah, yeah, that's when I first moved here. That In was eighty four. That was before General Hospital. So when you yeah. w- okay. you went to sing. No, no. The only category that they had available in mm. October of '84 mm-hmm. was because um, I thought, oh, I'll do that supermodel, yeah, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. supermodel category. Yeah, that's yeah. right. What a stupid category, anyway. Yeah. But um, so, so they didn't have any room in that, so I went into the acting competition, which oh. is how do you judge somebody's acting? Who's better, De Niro or Pacino? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen or Viggo Mortensen? Like, right. You don't judge people's artistry that way. Right. But, you know, they tried to quantify it with like, okay, 2.75 versus 3.25. Right. You win. Right. You know? Oh, my. did right. you have to do like a monologue or? No, what? I had to do a scene. So it was like oh. me and a guy did a scene and another actress and a guy did a scene. And they, you know, all four people were competing. Um, wow. But the other couple won. But uh, I did uh, I did better than my partner. So, you know. <laughs> well, I wonder what ever happened to the other girl. Yeah, I know. I, know. Huh? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. See? That I'm happened. Have to do some research. It turned out yeah. okay in the end. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder. Right. I do wonder. I don't remember who, who everybody was. Yeah. Wow. But I do know that my partner thought I would make him look bad, so he got me into his acting coach. He's like, "Oh, I don't. This girl doesn't know how to act. She's never done anything before. Will you teach her?" So and that's how I that's met my acting coach. My wow. next question: Who were your acting coaches here in Hollywood in L.A.? Well, rest his soul, this guy named Mark Spiegel. Okay. Um, he we- was at Vincent Chase uh, Studio. <gasps> Vincent. We all up, love Vincent. On, uh, he was yep. scary. With Vincent? That. Yeah, Vincent Chase. Oh, I got yeah. some stories about him. We'll he talk was, about He was it. tough, but um, I love Vincent. I took a few of his classes, mm-hmm. and then I went to Mark for privates, cold mm-hmm. reading, and stuff like that. And then mm-hmm. Mark left and had his own private studio around the corner upstairs from Mashti Malone on um, La Brea and okay. uh, Sunset okay. upstairs in yeah, that yeah, yeah. mall. Um, so I remember that studio. Wow. Yeah. And then what about vocal coaches? I'm just uh, curious. I studied with Seth Riggs a couple Same. times. Yep. Um, and then I went with, he was so expensive. So I, yes, <laughs> I know I, went, I, go, I can't afford this. Um, so he had a guy, Brian Chapman, hmm. who was in his studio. He was okay. like another teacher there, I think. And then hmm. so I studied with him. Seth. And what about, and um, Arthur Joseph, another okay. coach that I studied with for a few years. Hmm. Yeah. S- Seth Riggs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Relax your tongue. <laughs> That's Support. the toughest part for me. My uh, tongue's all over the place. <laughs> yeah. That's an attractive voice. Uh, 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 what? Hi, ha, hi, ha. What? Hi, ha, hi, ha. 
<laughs> Those are fun. There you go. Follow along at home, folks. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is great. So much fun. You're amazing. I'm having a blast. You know, Hawaii style, just vala ao. It means talk, talk, talk. Yeah. We right? like vala ao. I'm trying talk to teach. Story. Talk story. I always say, I say that on the show. I say, we talk story. Yep. The other day I was, uh, I told him, I said, I bought a you. Uh-huh. I bought a you. And that's oh. how we get in fights out there. I bought Why? a you. You bought Why? a I bought a you. Why bought a? Yeah. I bought a you. <laughs> the accent's a little different though. You're <laughs> my, my, that's, that's just my Hispanic trying to do the Hawaiian. I bought like, a you. Why are you talking like, uh, you try to talk like us, but you sound kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, accent. From here. <laughs> Not from don't, don't fight her. She don't know what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't fight her. That's why my friends say, hey, don't get in fights in Hawaii. Chicks are tough. Tina. Like, yeah, they start taking off their hoop earrings. You yep. better watch out. That's right. <laughs> so so similar to like my Latino sisters. Yep. When I yep. when I go to yep. Hawaii, I feel like I'm with my people, my own people. We go to the beach. We barbecue on the beach. We bring our TVs on the beach. We have a generator. <laughs> we sit there with the whole family. Pop up tent. Yep. Everybody's auntie. We all mm-hmm. take care of each yep. other's babies and everything. So mm-hmm. yep. that's yep. So. Your, would you consider Wayne's World to be your big break? Oh, 100%. But you mm-hmm. had done some films before that. Uh, or was it just. Of note. Yeah, okay. just like little indie movies. Okay. And, you know, kind of, you do the movie and you yeah. take the cash and you put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just That's like, right. okay, cool. I remember my first um, movie where I made a good big paycheck and it was up in Montreal. Mm-hmm. It's called Zombie Nightmare. Ooh. Oh. And it's now on. Um, they, you know, they roasted it that robot um, TV show, oh, um, Mystery Science yes, Theater. Yes, Mystery Science Theater. Oh, you have I to love look it that. Up. They roasted it on there, and it, they were <gasps> absolutely correct. It was I loved so it. lo-fi. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the zombies chasing me through, and I'm like, I have to run, but I had to hold the caro syrup in my mouth, the red syrup. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when he smashed my head against the wall, I could spit out the blood. That's how lo-fi it was. Let's not cut. Let's just make her wear her own clothes, run through this whole room, and hold the syrup in her mouth so she could spit it out when he hits her head against the wall. Oh, man. That's like DIY filmmaking right there. But I, I went straight to get that check cashed and put that money in my pocket. I'm yeah, like, oh, no, that's, that's better right. clear. Damn. That's right. But you've done like, I mean, I told him, I was like, I called him up. I was like, she's spinning like... F- 50 movies. No, really? Yes. I, 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 I just keep hustling. Mm-hmm. I was you like scrolling to. and I was like three, to. six, nine. I was like, what the? And I just was like, holy cow. You're like, That's damn, incredible. She is that old. <laughs> That's amazing. It's wonderful though. Uh, yeah. Just because you've been able to, you've been able to, but you've been able to do something that many people can't do in this industry and mm-hmm. just keep working. Yep. Yeah. It's keep working. Very grateful. Yeah. Very grateful. And getting out of the island. I mean, I keep saying that because I just know like Bruno Mars is just a handful of people that you, you see come out and they, you know. Yeah. It was I mean, cool getting to meet Bruno Mars at the Grammys. Though. Oh, I, I th- bet. The second time I was there, he was on the carpet. I'm like, hey, I didn't know you were from Hawaii. Like, yeah, hey. I at the Blaisdell, Criss Cross was performing, so I hosted the event. And then I introduced the public to this little kid doing Elvis, this little cute kid. And I was like, man, he was adorable. And he was all doing his, that was Bruno Mars. What? So then I see him years later here in L.A. at a you know, fashion week, I think at Shea Todd's place, right? Bikini girl. And he's all grown up. And he says, you know, I met you back in the day. and. <gasps> Before he bre- before he you know blew up. Wow. And then he says, "What advice, you know?" And I was like, "Don't pay a lot of commissions. Save your money." Mm-hmm. That was the first thing I said. And then time after that, I mean, now I can't even get him to return my call. Ah. <laughs> just, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. He's a sweetie pie. He's a <laughs> and I love his sister. Wow, that's incredible. But think about the people that oh, have yeah, come his out. Sister, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met. Yeah. Uh, Jamie. They, she Leilani. was doing something with the Common Kings. Uh, oh, singer also. Yeah, the 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 uh, you know the group Common Kings. Mm-hmm. They were doing some event. She's like, oh, I'm Bruno Mars' sister. I'm like, what? Yeah. She was. Yeah. They were raising money to get ukuleles into oh, their school. Wow. Yeah. Oh, see, uh, cool. she, she said it right. Mm-hmm. Here in Los Angeles, you say ukulele. Or ukulele. Uh, ukulele, but we say ukulele, which I have to tell you, mm-hmm. I want her approval. Uh-huh. I've been taking the uke for about three months now, four months. So I'm learning my notes. You can say uke. 
Uke. Yeah. Uke. <laughs> the uke. I know yeah. it's sort of a ukulele, but I was taking the uke. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm learning and it's just nice. so fun. Chanka, 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 yeah. chanka, 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 chanka. Yeah. Just like three, <laughs> three chords. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got what? You got four. Yeah. Four strings. Yeah. Four strings. I'm learning my notes. Nice and playing. soft strings too. You Beautiful. Know, like a hard steel guitar. It's like, oh. We were yeah. doing a little drummer boy yesterday and I'm learning a, a Blackbird by the Beatles. And I, I serenade him. He's like, uh. Like, <laughs> <we're> like <laughs> I choked there. Ding, you know, but I'm, I love the instrument. Yeah. I love my, it. My uh, musical partner, Daniel Ho, he, uh, yes. he has his own uh, ukulele that he, uh, and also a guitar, amazing small body guitar really? with Pepe Romero. Okay. Uh, yes. He makes the classical guitars. He hand makes his guitars, Pepe Ooh. Romero Jr. Um, but so they collabed on um, ukulele and a guitar. So oh, I see man. all their, their um, inventions. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Do they have a store on the island? Um, no, no, no. Um, they have them online. I mean, okay. I, I, you can look it up on Instagram. Wow. At Daniel Ho Creations, at Pepe Romero Jr. A commercial. commercial. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, pay her. no, but they're beautiful. Because Daniel's always playing with his instruments. I'm like, what is that? He's like, spalted mango wood. I'm like. <laughs> what is that? Salted mango. I'm like, it looks like an exalted mango. It's so beautiful. <laughs> is it? Is he Don's? No relation. No relation. No, a lot of hoes. A lot of hoes. A lot of hoes. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. But I'm bumped. But I'm bumped. But I'm bumped. <laughs> so. We got to laugh out of camera over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tell him to laugh out loud always. It's always great when you hear like your your crew people like, cracking up. <laughs> So we kind of jump all over the place. Oh over yeah, here, so. we're just talking story. It doesn't yeah. have to be linear. It's yeah. like life is like this. Yeah. You know? So how did you how did you get Wayne's World? How did that happen? Audition like everybody else. Yeah. I went in one, two, three, four mm. times, I guess. And, mm. You know. Oh, that just was went in and I sang and I acted. And major showed some kicking and punching yep. and karate chopping yep. and you know whatever they needed for the part. And major. Then it just, phew, Yep, yeah, that was it. She was all over the place. What was it like to work with those two? Uh, it was such a whirlwind um, because mm -hmm. even though it became a huge phenomenon, mm -hmm. it was the lowest budget movie at Paramount that year. Wow. It must have been like, I don't know, $12 million for that movie. And really? It made like, I don't know, $250 million. Wow. Um, so it was, uh, it w nobody knew what it was. Everybody said, what, Wayne's World? I've never mm -hmm. heard of it. And they were like, oh, it's a, a skit on mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. Yeah. But People hadn't, you know, they didn't really right. know what it was. Right. So it was a surprise mm -hmm. hit. It just it came out of nowhere and just blew up. Oh, it was great. It, it was genius. Mm -hmm. um, like the product placement scene. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was like the first time you could call out, uh, you know, how crazy it is that people are picking up a can of Coca-Cola or mm -hmm. Pepsi and yeah. drinking it, you know, facing the label towards the camera. Yeah. And they do it now for real, yeah. right. you know, in yep. TV and film. Um, mm -hmm. You know. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't even. Yeah, that product placement scene, mm -hmm. that was like. Stroke of genius, wow. among other things, but wow, man! And there was a Wayne's World too, mm -hmm. as well, with all these superstar, you know, mm -hmm. yep. Kim Basinger and Big Drew time. Barrymore, yeah. Kevin yep. J. Pollock, yeah. and Aerosmith, like all these, oh, man. all these, uh, you know, How yeah, star turns and that. Everybody wanted to be in that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first one was yeah. a huge hit. Yep. Yeah. Wow. And then came True Lies. True Lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rising Schwarzenegger. Sun. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Sean Connery. I'm bummed. I, mean, I was supposed to say, like, James Cameron didn't go to Avatar because he had COVID. So oh. I got to see, like, all the producers that I knew from True mm -hmm. Lies. Wow. John Landau over there was the, oh, he was the studio executive. And then mm -hmm. he started working with Jim Cameron after that. And mm -hmm. all my friends. Um, wow. But amazing. Yeah. The list of people that you've worked with. And uh, stick around long enough, you know. Mickey Rourke. In the uh, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro, written man. by Don Michael Paul, mm -hmm. that I did. That was my first leading man in Aloha Summer, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. brought you so back. Like, yep, full circle. Full circle. Not that I didn't have to audition for it, mind you. I still yeah. had to get that job yeah. like anybody yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's great, though. Wow. Was there one movie or one part that so far has been like a favorite for you? Like, oh, I just loved doing mm. that. Golly gee. Mm. Um, I loved working on a TV series. I had my own TV series, mm -hmm. Relic Hunter. Yep. I think it's still I on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, it was like 66 episodes, and I traveled mm -hmm. all over the world. Oh, man. Um, on somebody else's dime. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> That's yes. just. And when you travel, you get per diem, yep. and an envelope. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're just here's uh, some money, honey. Go shopping. We yeah. love um, the per diem. Yes, yeah, so I was in Canada, Spain, 
England, France. I get to live wow. in the center of Paris um, oh, wow. for uh, three months out of the year. It was unbelievable. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a great, great job. Wow, such a great show, too, Roller yeah. Hunter. So It was cool. a fun show. I thought it was <clears throat> really great. And it was before Tomb Raider. <clears throat> so mm-hmm. it, was, yes. you know, it was like Tomb Raider, but with more of a you know tongue-in-cheek yeah. sense of humor. Yeah. I thought it was a great mm-hmm. show. Yeah. Um, but you know, just it, I think towards the end of it, it was when nine eleven happened, mm. and it's just kind of a weird time. And they're like, yeah. "Well, we're on the bubble," which means we're trying to decide whether to do right. another year or not. I'm like, you know what? I kind of feel weird right now. I feel like it's just you know, it was such a heartbreaking time. The world was different, and mm. we were in Canada, and I couldn't come back into the United States. Mm. You know, travel wise, kind of freaked me out. So I was like, you know, I think I need to. Yeah. It's, we we you know we did great and <coughs> that's it and um, they're like yeah okay yeah and so it was a mutual decision at the end of the show but mm-hmm. now looking back I'm like I should have ridden that horse till it went into the ground <laughs> 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 but you know I wouldn't have had you know my daughter I yeah. wouldn't have, you know it was a time in my life where I felt like I wanted other things in my life yeah. and and thankfully I, I was able to do mm-hmm. that so yeah. yeah good choice good choice it's good. well yeah. you know it always happens <laughs> on doesn't it never happens on our time. Mm-hmm. It always happens how it's meant to happen. You know? And it, it was meant to happen. That's it was right. just perfect. It That's was right. really, mm-hmm. really good. That's right. So I want to ask you a question. Um, when did you mm-hmm. release your mm-hmm. first album? My first album mm-hmm. was right after, well, the first album was the soundtrack for Wayne's World. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I did that, you know, uh, b- 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 Ballroom Blitz mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, the other song, Why You Want to Break My Heart. Uh-huh. And then from that, I got my deal with Warner Brothers. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and so I did Dream, my uh-huh. record. Right. It's a beautiful package. It's like 93. Flip out. Like, you know, you don't have yeah. that anymore. The CDs mm-hmm. that flip out with the pictures yes. yep. and, the, and the lyrics and who mm-hmm. was in each song. Yes. Yeah. You know, we don't have. You're right. We don't, we don't have, have that. that anymore. I love to have. It's like artwork. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Album covers and fold yep. out. You know, booklets. Yeah. Um. So that was ninety three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ninety three. Yeah. When'd you get solo. your When'd you get your first Grammy? I got my first Grammy in was it two thousand and. Eight? Eight. 2008. 2008. Okay. Now, you see, you have the numbers in front of you. I don't, I'm going to think. I was like, what year Grammy. was that? I forget now. Best Hawaiian Music Album. Yeah, with Daniel Ho. Oh. Yeah. And that's the category of, well, you said they don't have the category. Was it Hawa- Hawaiian? No, uh, yeah, it was Best Hawaiian uh, Record. Mm-hmm. And actually, in 2007, we had the first record that we did called uh, Hawaiiana, which was all mm-hmm. my favorite songs from mm-hmm. childhood, oh, um, including that. the song from Lilo and Stitch, Aloha Oi. Mm-hmm. Um, so which, we, just, we got nominated for that one, but then the second record we got, uh, we got the Grammy for. Right. And then your second one, which was for which? Ikena. Okay. Ikena. And then yeah. the third one, which is Hey Nani, which is a beautiful jazzy mm. piano record, but mm-hmm. in Hawaiian language. Mm-hmm. We got a nomination for that. Mm-hmm. And then the fourth one, which is like classical piano, yeah. but mm-hmm. with Hawaiian language, was yeah. Huana Ke Aloha mm-hmm. in, was it 2012? 2011, 2011, yeah. 2011, we got the Grammy for that one, so. That is so wonderful. So you oh, have yeah. two Grammys. It's amazing. I get to perform there. I was hosting. So cool. I was hosting with Wayne Brady one of the years. Yes. And, um, oh, cool. I was hosting cool. the other time, yeah. I'm sure all your family and friends back in Hawaii are so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably like, you know, especially you singing, you know, your music from your family, your culture. To go back to your roots, that's so beautiful. I, I, I always say I'm like an ambassador of Aloha. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love mm-hmm. sharing that spirit in my heart. Um, mm-hmm. Even though I don't live there right now, mm-hmm. I'm trying desperately to get back. Yeah. yeah. Know, because there's nothing like being in Hawaii. Yeah. And, um, unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive for yeah. local people to live there anymore. I know. It's one of the highest cost of living with one of the lowest household incomes. Yeah. Mm. Which is really tough on the people living there, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. That's why my family lives in the mainland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'd rather be living there. I have to figure out getting some land, putting up some airstreams. That would be so nice. <laughs> Do some composting toilets. There yeah. you go. See, yeah. I, I want to go back to the islands with Tia. Uh, and just oh, go yeah. hang out. Go to your places yeah. you used to hang out. I'll take you where I like hang out. I'll you tell know? you when I'm going back to Hawaii. Yeah. 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 Maybe we we'll meet up there. Great. Do some like, uh, you know. Show you all the places where I grew up, Lily Hill Bakery. Yeah, there you go. Sit at the counter and. Um, oh, I'd love all that. All my favorite places. It's like even like I would love to take you to Alan Wong's, but they're not there anymore. I know. Can you Alan, believe that? I he's can't, amazing. I can't believe my Opihi shooters. All mm. of that. 
the um the Kahlua pig uh, uh mm. grilled cheese sandwich with oh. the with the martini glass of tomato soup. Oh wow. man. And that oh. that um wrapped a uh, fish that steamed wrapped yes. fish with the broth. Oh. Mm. Where is Ellen Wong? Oh man. Where are Anyways. you, Ellen? I'm hungry now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got to talk to Alan. I'm going to go back and open my yes. place with him. <laughs> you should. Seriously. So you get approached in 2003 to do Playboy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How was how 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 was that? How did you did you did you see did you think I it was saw, eventually I coming? I saw it. I saw did? it. They asked me a few times they, before okay. and the answer was always no. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no. I was like, "Oh, you know, because you don't want to be defined by that." And yeah. then um, I think it was because I was living in Europe. Mm-hmm. There was a much more uh, open. I was like in Europe. I was walking around with like sheer blouses with mm-hmm. no bra yeah. on. Yeah. It was like yeah. sort of like Parisian yeah. and yeah. sophisticated. It's, yeah. it's normal. There's it's very a different. different. Yeah. There's a different view of the of the human body. Yeah. And and I was like, you know what? Maybe I will do this, and yeah. maybe I will do it with the uh, intention of showing the um, the opposite. Yeah. Uh, the um, the anti bunny, if you mm-hmm. were not to be anti anything, but yeah. uh, an all natural native girl, yes. you know, in you know, with water and wood and like the mosquito net, mm-hmm. and yeah. so it's I beautiful. went back to the first. Thank you. I'm I, I love the photos mm-hmm. that Philip Dixon and I. Yes, did. that's right. He's he's brilliant. the first guy that I did that photo shoot with. He had the razor wire mm-hmm. around his garage, wow. his little house in in Venice Beach. Oh, was wow. Like so sketchy. I was like, "Hello, where are you?" And yeah. like he came out. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." It's because there's like there's like druggy area, so right? Like, yeah, I had to put the razor wire up. Wow. Um, but so I went back to him because mm-hmm. I trusted him to yeah, do these right. kind of photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did Harper's Bazaar and all mm-hmm. these beautiful, beautiful, He's amazing, um, yeah, fashion photos. Um, so like when I saw the photo show, I was like, mm-hmm. wow, "Wow, this is." I saw it. I, That's yeah. You know, I was like at the, at the and it's stall, completely like, different than than anything I'd ever seen in there. You know, yeah, just, it was yes. very earthy mm-hmm. yes. and natural. She was beautiful. And not you know, you were beautiful. High heel shoes with you know, yeah, red shoes and yeah, red shoes and white lace <laughs> stockings <laughs> right. and stuff, which right. is you know, it's a yeah. naked beauty, you know, mm-hmm. natural yeah. woman form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's an nice. artistic view, if right. you would say. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was after living in Europe, it just kind yeah. of um, mm-hmm. got up wild hair in my bonnet you know mm-hmm. like yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna memorialize this time in my life mm-hmm. and you know before i had my daughter before mm-hmm. everything went so you know cool. haywire i'm just gonna- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm teasing. You went in there. the one thing is you went in there as a star uh-huh. you know you're already a, a star so you went in there as a well-known performer you know, it wasn't like, you it wasn't know, just like, you know, play, well, this I is, love Playmates. This but, is all she is. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, the thing is like to to be able to make your name and to be um, recognized for other things. And in addition, right. you know, yes. you're beautiful or you hear your, you know, beautiful images. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yes. it's like if you were going to do a uh, complex magazine back in the day right. or yes. uh, uh, Sports Illustrated, mm-hmm. you know, bikini, like you want to be known for right. your work and use that to publicize your work. That's yes. right. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Playboy, yeah. that's cool though. But Playmates, I mean, and it's the no best. longer. I mean, what? There's yeah. no Playboy no more magazine. Playmo- no more Playmates, kind of, Playboy, and I don't yeah. know. There's something online or something still. Yeah, something I think in an online. Have the magazine is. I see people that yeah. the whole it's collection like the of like yeah. how many years since like yeah. 1950 something. Yeah, the collection. They collect them. Marilyn on the cover. I wasn't yeah. she the first cover girl? Yeah, yeah. Half? Mm-hmm. yeah. sure was. It's like a his- part of history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I had a Playmate once say, "Once a Playmate, always a Playmate." You know, I mm-hmm. mean, they had difficulties themselves too, mm-hmm. trying to, you know, adjust to different forms of life and mm-hmm. careers and all that. And especially with men too, it's tough, I guess. Yeah. One of my playmate. best girlfriends, Julie McCullough, she was a playmo- oh, yes. playmate. But it's funny, she and I met because she was my building manager in <gasps> that apartment on Sweetser. Oh, oh, wow. wow. She's I a remember actor, her. Actress. I'm a working actress yeah. and she was the building manager. Oh, for, for wow. the building. I was like, oh, small world. Can you help me get this apartment? I really like this apartment. She's like, oh, yeah, I'll talk to management for you, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So cool. She's still one of my besties. Wow. That's so cool. That's great. And then she was on Dancing with the Stars. You were on Dancing with the Stars. What Dancing was that like? Dancing with the Stars. Tell me what. What was that like? I mean, the discipline think, and um, my agent got me on there because he was worried I wasn't going to lose the weight after having Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I remember getting the call too. I was like at El Torito, tucking into like my second enchilada. <laughs> it's like, well, you want to do dancing with stars? I'm like, 
<laughs> you don't think I'm going to lose the weight, do you? It's like, no, 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 that's not it. It's really good PR. I'm like, okay, fine. Oh, and it's, I like lost like 75 pounds doing that show. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it was like, tell us what it is it that you painful. do. It was painful. It was so hard work. How many yeah. days a week? What is it? The, the whole process, what did they make you do? Or you had to do, Well, right? foolishly, I thought, oh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to rehearse one at, one time a day mm-hmm. and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And you know, be easy on myself. But you see other people and how much they're working. And you're like, oh my gosh, I better up my game. Really? Yeah. So I was there like eight hours a day. Like, no. Practice, have lunch, practice some more. Wow. And I had just had a baby. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm breastfeeding all night, you know, yeah. waking up every two hours. Oh my I was God. so severely sleep deprived. Yeah. I can't Not believe even that. Funny. I was like, whoa, I was loopy. I was oh loopy. Gosh. So I wouldn't do it right after having a baby. <laughs> yeah. I would have had more fun yeah. if I hadn't just mm-hmm. had a baby and been so tired. I was so tired. Wow. So. But you you just push right through it. We didn't, I saw it. I saw you and I was like, you know, I didn't see that you were tired or anything like it that. It was brutal. Um, and I had Maxime, Max, his mm-hmm. first year on there. He was very serious about mm-hmm. the dancing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So He's like, what is this? This is disgusting. <laughs> That's his catchphrase. He should have a t-shirt, t-shirt that says that. What is this? It's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> so you were there He's like often now in his old age. <laughs> five days a week were you doing all this? Well, yeah, until you know, un- whatever, whatever, until we had to shoot. Yeah, when you're mm-hmm. practicing on that day. You do mm-hmm. your hair and makeup, and then you practice some more before you go on. Were you on Third Street at that studio? Yeah, Third, yeah, Third Street. Right and I was living street. on Third Street at yeah, the Palazzo here. Apartments. Thank mm-hmm. God. Okay. Close. Close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just going to say. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then CBS was right there on um, Fairfax yeah. and, and uh, Third by the so. Grove. Mm-hmm. 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 How long did you? How many? Uh, how long did you last on there? Halfway. Halfway. That's good. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That's really Considering good. Considering the state I was in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really good. I was, I was, wow. The best thing was that tango that I did. Mm-hmm. That tango? Yeah, I was really proud of our tango. Like, oh, man. Everything else was a mess, but the tango was beautiful. <laughs> wow. How, I, I remember when Shaka did it. I'm, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good Shaka friends Khan. with Shaka Khan. Shaka yeah, Khan. He works I love with her. her. He, wor- I, he works with her a yeah. lot. I tell her I love her. I will. And I she her. did. She was doing dance. I'll never forget. She said, I'm going to do Dance with the Stars. Mm-hmm. I said, okay. She said, I won't be on there long, though. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long did she go I on? I think she went two episodes. It's brutal. It is it's brutal. brutal. It was rough. Man. And at the time, I think she might have been having some issues, like with her knee or her back mm-hmm. or something. It was well, stuff everything. Going on. We're in those yeah. high heel shoes. Yeah. That's got to be tough. It's so hard on your lower back. <laughs> and I'll Oof. never forget, <sighs> I went and got her from somewhere. It might have been a rehearsal or something. And she had her shoes her the little practice shoes. Mm-hmm. She said, you have these. Mm. I still have them. I still have like, those I'm little dancing. Yeah, yeah, the little like, nude colored satin strap. The little strap. nude colored satin, satin strap. strap. Jazz like, shoes. Yep. Yeah, she was With like, a soft um, yes. suede bottom. Yes. She, she can slide on the floor. Yep. It's really, really. Wow. Um, it was, but I'm glad that I had that experience. I just wish I didn't have to do it right after having a baby. Mm. Yeah. Because your body's just coming together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just at that added stress and yeah. punishment on it, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. It was, wow. it was hilarious. I'm like, got my baby hair on my knee, like popping my boob <laughs> in, putting on my makeup, getting yeah. ready to move, put on the other knee, popping up to do my makeup. I, I wish I had a picture of this. It was insane. Super mom. It was insane. Super woman. Wow. Wow. But Crazy. that's, as long as I've known you, that's your focus. The Tia Carrera that I remember first meeting is focus. It's like, ah. Uh, well, that's at Capricorn. Uh, yep, You're Capricorn, Capricorn girl, right? Yep. Yeah, that's January second, coming yep. up mm-hmm. on a birthday. Yes. Yep. Where are you? I'm a Gemini. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't know. You confuse me. I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Leo. Leo. Oh, Leo. A tired oh, lion one my, now. One of my like, best buddies is a Leo. Yeah, yeah, August second. Oh my gosh. Second. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're August second. She's January second. Yeah. Twos. Mm-hmm. Twos are twos. lucky numbers. Twos are lucky numbers. Yeah. Twos. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Got to play that lotto. Got to play that lotto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, boy, we got so much. We can cover so much ground. Yes, here. we have. I, I, I love it. I love it. I want to talk about a couple of more things. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite things that I loved you in was AJ and the Queen. Oh. oh. Why did that not go another I season? I was so I upset. was so mad. Mm. Yes. Start a petition. They brought you back. 
Yes. Bring uh, back AJ and the Queen. I'm going to pick it. Yes. But, you know, it, little Izzy, she's already grown up. Yeah. She's got like her second series after that. Oh. So, yeah, she's all grown up. But that Camp- was a great show. That was Campaign. a fun show to watch. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Michael that. Patrick King. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it was, it was, I really enjoyed it. Um, ML Woolley in that, mm-hmm. wasn't it as a Coco? Mm. Yes. Cocoa butter. Yes. Oh my gosh, the blind drag queen. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. oh girl. <laughs> yes. I love him. Yes. I love him so much. Yes. So cute. That was a great show. Now we shot here, per- right? Yeah. yeah. That, Warner Brothers. It was oh. the perfect, perfect vehicle for RuPaul. I mean, it was just it was a Ru perfect. Is such a dream to work with. Yeah. Oh, He's wow. such a gentle and kind soul. Yeah. I did his podcast too. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, it was really... I, I didn't get to meet Michelle Visage, though. Oh. Uh, she was out of town working or something. I okay. wanted to meet her. Oh. But, um, yeah, that was that was quite something. And the costumes were beyond. Yes, wow. they were. That fire red, you know, tulle gown yeah. out in the middle of the fields with a barn in the background. Yeah. How fun. I wanted that to go... Another season at least. Yes. Make yes. a campaign to get it back out. People always do that, right? They bring shows back out. Come on, Seth. Yeah. yeah. You start you started campaign. I'll do it because it was a great show. It was a great show. Yeah. Uh, it might have to be like had, the teenager yeah. and the queen now, mm, but yeah. it was a great show. Well, AJ could show. come back as like, you know, really pissed off because, yeah. you know. And now she's a rebellious teen. Yeah. Oh. That would be, that would yeah. be a very interesting yeah. uh, uh, plot line for yeah. it. Yeah, that would be great. Producer. Oh, she comes back with a baby. Oh. Mm. Tia the producer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you can get yes. it done. Tia yes. the producer, she can yeah. get it made. Oh, dear. Yes. We've had other shows. I can't recall what they are, but you have like, oh, we're going to bring back. I'm like, really? I've been reading oh, yeah, that. There's so a, a lot of, of. Yeah. Well, now there's so many places that need content mm-hmm. and need series and need, I mean, we've had, we've got so many choices now. Yeah, mm-hmm. for distribution. You know? Yeah. I mean, they're and they're <clears> making... <throat> So many of our... You bring back Relic Hunter, that'd be fun. I would love it. You know what? That was a fun show, too. And you were reading my mind because I was going to ask you, if if they approached you and wanted to do it again, would you? Yeah, I was thinking we could get it where I'm like the Obi Wan Kenobi and okay. have younger relic hunters going okay. out and getting their ass kicked. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't feel like fighting three fights right. a show. Yeah, you know, you guys have like some younger relic hunters going out there and yeah. doing the fights, and, and I can do the dirty you, work. I can I can be on the computer going, all right. So turn uh-huh. the, turn the tablet to the right. Yep, forty seven uh, degrees. Yes. There you go. Yes, and the that code is like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you heard it here, <laughs> relic hunter. We want it back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because it was such a great show. Yeah. Absolutely. Sort of like that librarian show, sort of like that mm-hmm. national treasure show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Relic Hunter was there. Yeah. Yep. And I know that I last saw you in uh, Easter Sunday. Mm-hmm. Easter Sunday. Yes, we did. Yep. Yes. I almost wore my glasses today, but I'm like, no, I'm more than my Tita glasses. <laughs> we loved it. Uh, Seth and I went to IPIC, mm-hmm. and we went and had a little dinner, one of my favorite theaters. We go and have a little dinner, a little cocktail. I love that. Mm-hmm. I go and, to Sinopolis. Oh, mm. yeah. So we went there to support you and you know our friend Joe Coy, mm-hmm. and it was so much fun. I love that. And I, I identified because, like I said, I live you know part-time on Oahu. Explain to us from the mainland what it means to be a tita. Well, okay, so there's two mm-hmm. different things. This is tita in the Filipino sense, mm-hmm. anti tita, mm-hmm. you know, Spanish tia, uh-huh. um, which is confusing when your name's tia. Mm-hmm. But anyway, right. <laughs> right. yeah, that's right. Anti. So tita is anti. Everybody's anti, anti, anti. It's a it's a sign mm-hmm. of respect. You know, you take the hand, you put it to your forehead, mm-hmm. tita. Mm-hmm. Um, but in Hawaii, it's tira. Tita. Which is like, you don't want to cross the titties because they'll punch you in the nose. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been They will warned. pull off their rubber slippers, <clears throat> take off their hoop earrings, and uh-huh. they will school you in a different <laughs> yep. way than titas will school you. <laughs> yep. Titas might teach you how to cook. Mm-hmm. Titas might teach you how to rearrange your face. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've been warned by my friends in Hawaii. They're like, you watch yourself. <laughs> wow. Boy. Yeah. That was great. Same spelling, different mm-hmm. definition. Got it. How was it working with Joe Coy? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I mean, when you're working with somebody, the enthusiasm, you know, it's it goes from the top down. So mm-hmm. whoever's number one on the call sheet is going to be setting the tone for everybody mm-hmm. else. That's right. yep. And if they're grumpy and tortured and, you know, then mm-hmm. everybody's going to be on like pins and needles. Like, oh my yep. gosh, yep. you know. But he's just, you know, he's like, ah, oh, loving and hugging, yeah. and, you know, and including everybody and just like the life of the party. So right. that was really <laughs> um, great considering we were still 
in COVID, yeah. yep. complete lockdown yep. at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you get this job in another country because yeah. we had to go from LA to Canada mm. to do this. And the border okay. was closed. So it was really, really top, wow. you know, top level security. Wow. I had no idea. They took <clears throat> us to a, a government hotel, locked up there, did another test. Uh, well, test before you leave, mm-hmm. test when you arrive, stay there for overnight, take another <clears> test, <throat> moved to two weeks in complete seclusion, you know, in your mm-hmm. apartment. You don't step over the, the threshold mm-hmm. for two weeks. Um, and then <clears throat> we were the first hug with each other was the cast of Easter Sunday. We were on a locked <clears throat> floor, you mm-hmm. know, at this uh, apartment building there. And so we only hung out with each other. Right. It was that kind of thing. And it wow. we so really you, brought everybody a lot closer. We became, were like a real family. Like a, I was just yeah. going to say, they became a family. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Man. And that shoot was, how long did you guys shoot for? Uh, like, <clears throat> was it three months? Three months. Something like that. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, it was a long time to be away from the family. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. So it was, uh, it was magic. It was very difficult, but I think you saw right. um, our joy mm-hmm. and just yep. be, yes. that release of, you know, being cooped up and scared yes. and, yes. you know, all of that. Mm-hmm. And we we're just so joyful to be with each other. Yeah. And um, what showed in the movie, I mean, there was such camaraderie and you could feel, you know, the family and the humor and mm-hmm. you were wonderful yes. as always. <laughs> yes. You were wonderful <laughs> in it. And I it made me fun. miss Hawaii, you know, it's yeah. like, we gotta go to Hawaii, you know, cause I haven't been there, you know, with stuff here in LA and everything. And it, once you get back, you know, it's just, it changes your life, but yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, you're One wonderful. One day soon, I'll be living in Hawaii. I'm telling yeah. you, that. I'm going to manifest that. Mm-hmm. You are. Yeah. You will be there, and you'll have yeah. your, you know, cool house on the beach, mm-hmm. and you'll just, you know, everybody be so happy to or have in the her trees. back. No, maybe I have a tree house. I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> God, are you? That'd be so dope. Ah, that'd be fun. Man. I was just there like a month ago. I was shooting a music video. Oh really? For a new song that I um just recorded. Oh, great. Um, yeah, it's called I'm Still Here. Oh, that's mm. wonderful. Yeah, and it's it's sort of like a country inflected, but it's, you know, because it's, it's lyrically mm-hmm. and musically, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So how in, in uh, country music, you hear the lyrics very clearly. And right. It's, uh, it's sort of like anthemic, like I'm mm. still here, you yeah. know, but personally I'm as my career, here. but also coming out of the pandemic, I, I recorded it during the tail end of the pandemic. I was like... Just felt like the time I wrote the song maybe 15 years ago. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Good for so, you. I can't yeah. wait to hear it. Yeah, and then I went back home. I'm like, I want to shoot this in Hawaii. Yeah. If you want me to be all I ever wanted was to have you. In uh, on Oahu, uh, on, uh, in Hilo. Oh, in, in Hilo. Hilo. Oh, yeah, man, my friend's rainy farm Hilo farm out there. Okay, farms. Okay. If you go to Hilo, you got to do the tour of their mm-hmm. farm. It's amazing. What do they farm? They everything. Like there's macadamia nuts. There's um, Madagascar vanilla. There's Ooh. really um, wow. What do they have? Like lavender and rosemary. What mm. everything? 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 Wow. It's amazing. It's a huge farm. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's the only farm that Papayas, I know. It's like Parker Ranch and that's beef, right? Parker yeah. Ranch. That's yeah. it. But that sounds. Yeah, go to OK Farms on Hilo side. It's, okay. I love it. And they have the waterfall there. Mm. Um, yeah. 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 That sounds, that sounds like fun. I haven't been to Hilo in forever. That sounds like mm. fun. Yeah, that's where my grandma's family's from is Hilo. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. That's uh, Virginia. Oh, Virginia's from Hilo. Prince's brother, Omar Baker, is married to a lady who was born in the area of Hilo. Oh. So, yeah. you know, when I look at Omar, I'm like, good job. She's a wonderful lady. <laughs> She's pure, earthy, wonderful. We love Virginia. Yep, Hilo in that area. Yes. Hilo, my hometown. Yeah. That's the name of the song. Yeah, just my 10. Oh, and then do you yeah. want to do this one after the 10 or before? No, let's do that now. Okay. Ooh. Your future I'm projects. I am right now writing a movie to shoot back in Hawaii. <gasps> Ultra low budget. I want to write it, produce it, star in it, direct it. It's going to be. It's something from my heart that I've been thinking about for a long time. I'm just going to do it. I play and I your grandma. <laughs> I'm playing a <the> grandma. <laughs> oh, no, really? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, love it. I love yeah. it already. Yeah. Don't so, tell us anymore, but yeah, I, don't, I can't wait. I can't tell you anymore. Just Ooh. it's too, it's, it's, I'm moving <gasps> the, the index cards around and figuring out exactly where everything goes and all oh, that that's stuff. Great. Oh, that's, that's great. That's wonderful. That's great. Yeah. Keep yeah. it up. We're, yeah, we're going to be there. 
front row and support you. Yeah, and then you come you. back if you can when you do your movie and you know we'll help you in, in any, any way, way we can. Thank you. Any, any way, way we can. can. That's so great. Much. So I have uh, <laughs> what I what I call my 10 questions I ask for our guests and I want to ask Like the back of you. Vanity Fair, like how they do yeah, that? Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to ask you these 10. Okay. Is it speed round or? Mm, not really. <laughs> Tell me one thing that most people don't know about you. Um. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that I was always worried that I was too chubby because when I read in Cosmopolitan magazine, if you look down, you can't see your toes in the shower, then you're too fat. Oh. <laughs> Damn you, Cosmopolitan Cosmo. Magazine. <laughs> Damn you. Scarred a little 10-year-old girl from Hawaii. They scarred us all. <laughs> all of us. You know? <sighs> Ooh, scars, of, scars from Cosmopolitan. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Scars from Cosmopolitan. We all have them. No disrespect to Cosmopolitan. We love you, <laughs> Do they even exist? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I think they do. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. What's the craziest rumor you have ever heard about yourself? Rumor. Ooh. That you were just like, what the hell? Ah, uh, geez. I don't know. I, I uh because I try not to pay attention to rumors or yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I honestly don't know. Okay. You'd have to tell me a rumor. Okay. Yeah, I, she hasn't heard the rumor. Don't read the good news and don't read the bad news yeah. about yourself and don't believe anything. Right? Okay. Um, so have you ever like been in the grocery store and looked at the National Enquirer and said, what the hell? Uh, that's, Where did, did they get yeah. that from? Oh, what well, they were mean to me. They said something <laughs> about like, uh, you know how they say like you, you, you have an eating disorder or something like that. Mm. Or something. But I had just <clears throat> had um, I had just had a miscarriage. So it was like mm. kind of a really, really mean thing. Uh, I even called a lawyer because I was so mad. Uh, He's like, you know what? You're going to have more press they're going to create more story and it was yeah. like it was very hurtful yeah. at the time mm, so yeah. yeah i'm sorry that yeah. was a kind of a nasty thing but it turned out okay in the end because mm-hmm. i had my daughter yeah but yeah it was one of those things where they're making fun of the way you look in your yes. dress yes. Mm. and yeah. it was a bad bad time for yeah. me mm. yeah and they didn't yeah. know anything and about they didn't the know anything the yeah. yeah so you know when you yeah. see somebody you don't mm-hmm. know what they're going through yep that's right it's one of those instances that's right What's the best part about being Tia Career? Boy, the best part about being me right now is that I can do anything that I want to do, um, go anywhere I want to go, and and be happy. Mm-hmm. You know that I think I found a really good place in my life where I can just be happy um, and not comparing myself to anything that I want or mm-hmm. anything that somebody else has that I want. I'm just so pleased that I've come this far mm-hmm. and I'm so grateful for everything, awesome. you know? Yes. Yes. Like almost 40 years in this business. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Man. What has been the most challenging part about being in Tia Career? The most challenging part is making sure that I have time and focus for my daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, because it is it is quite a lot. And that's, that's why I was worried, you know, even having a child because it, it is a full-on thing to be... To have to be away from her for three months. Yeah. Fortunately, she could be with her dad. Yeah. But um, you know, splitting your focus. Um, mm-hmm. sometimes you gotta re- you know, rein yourself in. But she tells me now, mm-hmm. you know, she's she's old enough, she's telling me, like, nope, you gotta mm-hmm. pay attention to me. You're doing that thing where you're, you know, spinning, mm-hmm. yeah. thinking about stuff or being away too much. And, yeah. you know, it's hard. Yeah. With everything you've done in your career, what's been your highest career point to date? My highest career point to date, geez, Louise. Um, I mean, of course, Wayne's World. Yeah. I think because it was such a surprise hit all over the world. Yeah. And I remember traveling to uh, Sweden and uh, England and Germany and seeing them spend money on this promotional tour mm-hmm. all over the world. Yeah. Versace's mm-hmm. giving you free clothes. You know, mm-hmm. you're like, okay, this is what it's like to be in a huge hit yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was wow. That was uh, definitely a peak mm-hmm. uh, in my life. But then also was being on stage singing at the Grammys yeah. mm-hmm. and getting to sing a song and de- you know dedicate it to my grandma. Yeah, you know, nice. here's a gr- song from my Grammy, sung from the stage at the Grammys. Yes. Wow, that's so, so great. Wow, that is so cool. So, what do you? What has been your biggest career regret thus far? Has it been a part or movie or something that you just 
didn't do and you said, shit, I should have did it. My biggest regret? Mm, well, I don't believe in regret. Mm -hmm. I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that you, you know, you choose things because of where you're at in a period of time. And so it doesn't serve me to regret. But I do wish I had done this movie with Viggo Mortensen back mm. in the day. It was like a TV movie. Like it's supposed to play his love interest. I'm like, oh. Viggo. <laughs> He's so I'm hot. I'm ready for it now. He's hot. Um, Amazing. But uh, I was married at the time and he was not having any of that. And there was uh. another um, part that was uh, the Tom Cruise, uh, the, the girl on the beach part where she has a, a, a love scene with Tom Cruise in The Firm. Oh. That one, I didn't even. I was like, no, I don't want to go for this. I don't want to blah 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 because oh. of that. Yeah, so wow. two parts. It would have been fun to Man. make out with Viggo Mortensen. It would have yeah. been fun to make out with Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Jeez. See, these are my great regrets. Who I didn't make out with when I could have. Viggo Mortensen. That's how I think that. <laughs> how you like my knife? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> No more regrets. Uh, no. None. None. What do you think the biggest, if you know, what do you think the biggest public misconception about you may be? Uh, biggest public misconception. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I don't know. Maybe that I'm more... Um, sexy or vixen than I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk a good talk, but I'm still kind of like um, normal and yeah. boring. She's, <laughs> she's, she's that sweet Hawaii I'm girl. I'm really boring. She's a sweet Hawaii girl. <laughs> yeah, I guess sweet. so, yeah. I mm -hmm. guess that's what it would be because mm -hmm. I come, come across like this scary Juno Skinner in True Lies or, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, but kicking, you know, martial artist. Yeah. But I'm just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's a camera, right? <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll sit in the corner here. <laughs> Sweet boy, Stop. girl. No, that's okay. I'll use, I'll take the leftovers <laughs> <laughs> in my purse. <laughs> so cute. Absolutely adorable. That's Hawaii. Yep. Yeah. That is. It is. Yep. But I like it. It keeps me humble. Mm -hmm. Oh, a few more here. If you could trade places with one person for a day, who would it be and why? It would have been cool to be the Queen of England mm. for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, and I why want people that? to like curtsy to me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a little lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, I want your dress. Okay. <laughs> yes. You know what? I like those earrings too. Throw that in. <laughs> and the crown, right? <laughs> now take me up to Sandringham. Whatever. Whatever. Chris, she used to like in Scotland. I don't know what her castle uh, is. Uh, Queen of England, one day. Okay. That's cool. But we'd have to move fast because I wanted a lot of stuff in that 24 hours. You want it all. Yeah. That's right. If... It's, if sex were a food for you, what food would it be and why? Ooh. Mm. If sex was a food, it would have to be a plate uh -huh. at... Wait, no, I don't know how... Okay, so it would be my favorite food. Uh, my favorite food yeah. that's like sex on a plate yeah. is at Liliha Bakery. It's hamburger steak, uh, macaroni mm. salad, mm. Mm. Uh, two scoops of rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With gravy on the whole thing. Oh, yes. snap. With fruit punch and a butter roll oh. with that pink jelly that they have. Oh. To me, that's sex on that's a plate. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love it. I'm hungry right now. Thank you so much. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're going to have to go there. I'm leaving hangry today. Yes, oh, we that's are. it. Questions are over. There. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more. All and right. This, and this is really more of a statement. If I could do it all over again, I would... Believe in myself from day one. Mm. Never question what was right or wrong for me. I uh, wish I'd been clearer about that, but you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Deep. That's, That's a very, uh, and, and you know what? It, it, it echoes mm -hmm. what so many people out there think. Right. You mm -hmm. know, so that, that was powerful what you just yep. said. That was very powerful. Awesome. Thank you. That was great. This has been. Amazing. Amazing. I know. My cheeks hurt here. from laughing so I know, much. I they know. do. My cheeks are hurting from laughing. She's so hysterical. Oh my gosh. This has been amazing. And thank, thank you so you. much. You. I thank you. I love talking with you guys. We have a class. Anytime you want, oh, you got please an come open back. Invitation All right. Just to come and chop it up. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And thank you so much. And thank you, Tia Career. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Seth. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching us on the podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. 
Stay tuned for more episodes. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Aloha. See you soon. Aloha. If you want official Apollonia merchandise, visit ApolloniaCotero.store and ApolloniaCotero.com.